Hi you folks, and welcome back for more Let's Play the Pandora Directive. If you recall, I had just managed to clear this little fireball maze, at least the first half of it, and now we've got to go to all four doors. Unfortunately, that means we've got to stick our neck back out in the fireball zone, but I think we'll be okay as long as I save right before I make that mad dash attempt. Because no matter how you get to this area, it's always going to be the last door you click on and check that is the way forward. So. Looks like the way out is one of those four doors. Door won't budge. Okay, so we have tried that one. It's still very easy to fall off in the lava. Let's see, now we have to manage to work our way over to the other half of this room. Which is nowhere near as much fun as it sounds. I may die a few times here. I hope not. And it won't let you cheat that way either. I tried. Door won't budge. Looks like the way. And I want to save again because I'm over here and safe. Like the way. And finally, we can progress into the second half of the Mayan Temple. The rooms are now somewhat deadlier than they were in the first part. Not considering that that room is a giant, just a uh, death trap. I hate that room. It relies too much on the movement functions of the. of. Uh, well, the movement engine, and I hate the movement engine here. I don't know how many times I can say this, but I really hate the movement engine. Now, there, is only, there are only two more items that we need to bother finding here in this second half, and we will go find them both before we do anything else. Yeah, we can. Do-do-do-do-do... I'm so glad I have a map. Am I mistaken? No, wait, I'm gonna go around this corner, don't I? It wasn't a straight shot. There it is. It's another of those ceremonial daggers. Okay, oh, we gotta be careful. Okay, we don't have to be careful. There's nothing in here that's going to kill us. Getting lost will be very annoying, but not deadly. Nope, I didn't want to go that way, did I? Not yet. This way. And if I'm correct, yeah, 
Okay, there is a room I don't want to go in yet. I want to save that one for later. I've got everything I need to deal with that room, but I would rather make sure I get all the daggers and such first. And there's our last dagger. It's another of those ceremonial daggers. We've got... That is the symbol for blood, I do believe. And this is for the white sun. Or, you know, just normal sun. So now we have all the items we need from this area. Now I need my bearings. Am I lost? Gotta hope not. Okay, there is the door. And I do believe this is the way I want to approach this door. I do believe. I'm going to save. Save over that file. Yes. Now. Symbol on this door looks like some kind of giant insect's head. I hope there aren't any critters this size buzzing around in here. Okay. I'm going to prepare a bit for this room just because it's easier that way. But in short, when we get into this room, there are going to be giant wasps. Or at least a giant wasp's nest. Tex will say he's allergic to these. So, let's prepare just a bit by getting ready to smoke out these, uh, getting ready to smoke out these wasps so we can explore this room in safety. Now we have an oily handkerchief. Whoops, I wanted to combine some more. I'm not done. Spear with an oily handkerchief tied around it. Now, I do believe that is all I need to prepare. <clears throat> I have plenty of time for this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So once again, I'm going to save. Just in case I'm at the wrong entrance here. like an army of wasps in here somewhere. The buzzing seems to be coming from that stone head on the wall. And a couple of those buggers are coming out of the mouth, and if a few of them sting me, I'll swell up like an elephant and be dead in 30 seconds. I either have to destroy that nest or get out of here. Okay, now we need to combine quickly this. There's my matches. There we go. Use it on there, and we have now successfully smoked the uh, wasps out, and we no longer have to now deal with it. Now there's nothing in that stone head but a big pile of wasp crispies. Now there's nothing in that stone head but a big pile of wasp. So now, let's take another look around, shall we? There are nine empty squares on top of this altar. Nine empty hmm. squares. Stone ding-dongs in stereo. Those would be awfully big ding-dongs. I guess if we got to smoke that hemp, they could be useful, but... These tiles look like they can be laid out in a pattern on the altar. Let's grab them. Drawings in this chamber show people worshipping three Mayan kings. 
Well, let's take a very close look at these Mayan kings, shall we? We need to pay very close attention because this is the crew of our next puzzle. Or crux. Is it crew or is it crux? I've always said crew. I don't know. But there's one king. Oh, where's it? There's a second king. He has a funk. He too has a different hat, a spear. And he has a shield. And another type of hat altogether. And yes, that is correct. We've got nine tiles. Let's take a look at These them. These tiles look like they can be laid out in a pattern on the altar. And if you if you can see it kind of here, there's a shield and there's the feet and all that. So once again, we have another tile puzzle where we have to arrange everything. We've got to arrange these nine tiles in the pattern of those three kings. So, you're going to save. Yeah, I can save over that file. And I do believe I'm I do believe I have this fairly I do believe I can do this in the time maybe on the first or second try. So, Bingo. What? Okay, what did I do wrong? Oh, I got the heads backwards, didn't I? It's the heads. Oh, I didn't get the legs seated. And now I have a cat saying hello. Let's try this again, shall we? I didn't have the leg seated, or I would have had that done on the first try. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? There. Sheesh. Picky, picky puzzle. Let's save again. Just because if I die, I don't want to have to redo that. Yes. Now, that we have done this... Actually, this is a pretty good time to cut the video, because the next part... Hmm... Well, I'll walk over to the dagger room from here. Da -da -da. I can leave through that door. Uh, the, the black sun door. Here we go. Oh, and if you didn't, if you didn't see it, the dot for the bugs is at the very bottom. Once again, that's important. I did leave through the right door, didn't I? There shouldn't have been any turnoff points. Did I leave through the wrong door? Didn't think I did. Oh, I did. I wanted to go through the other, I wanted to go through this door. So we will get over there. 
I headed out completely the opposite door of what I needed to. Once again, we have another door. Like a dagger, not unlike the kind I'm carrying. Very good, Dex. But now, that is enough for this video. So, when we come back, we will go into the dagger room and solve it. But until then, take care everyone. See you next time.